Welcome to learning react with me. In this video, we are going to see what is a state in react. State is an object which has set of properties that store data which may change during the lifetime of a component and it renders UI based on these values. Going by the definition, state is a set of observable properties that change the behavior of a component. Now, Let's see how we can implement state in a class component. I have created a JS file called demo state. This has a dummy list of users and I am iterating through all these users and rendering them as div elements. This div has a class called container coming from demo state.css. I have all the stylings available for this class in this file. And this is how the component looks. Now, uh, this is a simple component without any action or an event. Now, what I want is when I click on this user, I want to see the ID of the user which I selected. For example, if I click on Harry, it has to display ID 4, this ID. And similarly, if I click on Sam, it has to display one. And for that, I'm going to use state. State should be available once the class is initiated. And hence, we have to initialize state inside the components constructor. Let's define the constructor. And as per ES6, class constructors must call super method if they are subclasses and since our class is extending the component class we have to use super inside the constructor and another uh, reason for using the super method is to access the properties or any variables from the parent class and this keyword will be uninitialized if we don't call the super method for example i'll try to log this and i'll remove this super method if we move to browser we'll see an error saying we must call super constructor before accessing this or returning from a derived constructor and once i add the super method back the error is gone so let's remove this and start defining our state state can be accessed using this dot state and it is a simple object where we can define our own properties in my case i'll use selected user id property initially any I, i'm not selecting any user id hence it will be zero once i click on this div element i have to update the selected user id with the id of the selected user uh, before that, let's see how this state object appears on the screen. So, json.stringify this.state. Let me refresh. Okay, I have a typo here. Let's save this. So this is our state object. It has one property called selected user ID assigned to zero initially. Now, when I click on Sam, this selected user ID should be updated to one. And for that, we need an event. So in JavaScript, we have a property called or attribute called on click. Inside this, we can uh, define a function where we have to perform the operation once the click event is triggered. And for that, I'll define a function here. On user selected handler. This is a normal function which takes ID of the user as input. And let me invoke this function here using this dot the function since we have to pass an id let's make this as an arrow function 
so the id of this uh, div element will be coming from user object we are accessing name property to display it on the screen and similarly we can access id property to pass it to this function and once we click on this div element i'm passing this user id it will come to this method and inside this i'll set the state value so since state is an observable object we cannot directly update the values of state so i cannot say something like this this dot state dot selected user id equals id i cannot say like this because it's an observable property the react will observe the changes of state and behave accordingly hence react provides a method called this state to do the updates on the state so this dot set state inside this i can set the property selected user id colon id whatever i received here so let me go to the simple browser now if i click on sam this will be updated to 1 set state has another input called callback so uh, let me define an arrow function and inside this i'll try to log this dot state i can log this dot state outside as well but there is a reason i am doing it inside the callback function so if we go to the browser and observe this console log let me add a text to differentiate these two logs inside callback and this is outside set state we have an error in the console um let's uh, resolve it in a second but for now if you observe my state is zero and when i select sam the state is updated to 1 in the console outside set state it is still my previous state which is zero and inside callback it is updated correctly and when i click on dram it's updated to 2 but uh, outside set state it is one which was my previous state inside callback it is updated set state is an asynchronous method so when i come to this method the set state will make an asynchronous request and by the time it goes to the next line this request might not be completed and hence we see the old state here once the request is completed react will uh look at all the properties update them and re-render this component in such a case we don't see the uh, updated state values immediately and if we want to process data based on the updated state value then we will call this callback function inside this callback function you always have an updated state and you can use it for further processing Uh, let me remove this console log so it's not just a single property which you can update using set state you can update multiple properties together or you can update each of these properties individually so let me add another property called selected user name and initially this would be an empty string since i'm not selecting any of the users and once i click on a particular user this method would be invoked and instead of sending just an id i'll send the complete object which has both id and username and let me update the parameter name here to user and the selected user id now will take user dot id and i can update selected user name using another statement this dot set state inside this selected user name is user dot name let's look at the browser so if i click on drop it has the id of rom and 
selected username as Ram or I can take this property out and update it in the same set state method. So I'll comment this. Even now we should be seeing the same thing. So it has updated ID and the username. Let's resolve the error now. So when we iterate through an array and render similar kind of elements onto the DOM, React would ask for a unique key that would identify each of these elements so that whenever there is an update to one of these uh, items, it need not re-render the entire list again. It would simply go to that particular development using the uniquely identifiable key and update just that element. So in our case, every user is uniquely identifiable using an ID property and hence we assign this unique property through a special keyword called key and this would take user.id as its value. So using this key, it will differentiate between all these user developments. And let's see, let's save this and see it in the browser. Let me clear the console and refresh the screen. So now we don't have any error. It's not mandatory to use a constructor. So let's remove this. And outside the constructor, you don't have to use a, this keyword. Even now, we will see the same output. Sam, it's updating properly. So that's how we use state in a React class component. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.